It is possible to view master data information across all tables or all data types. So for instance, if you're coming from items and you view specifications, there will be filter on this item number and the type specification, but the table is called the information setup table. Likewise, if you use the coming from items and you select files, it will still be the information setup, but now you see other information because we have filter on files. And if you maybe go to customers or any entity that uses master data information and you look into specification and files again, it's the information setup. So if you want to view everything across entities, you could just look at the filter. You could remove the subtype if you want to see across specification text and files. You could remove the record ID. This is customer number 10,000 before it was item number 1,000. You can remove that. So now I'm seeing for all customers and you can even remove the table number, meaning now I'm seeing for all entities. So this way you can remove filters and apply filters to all your master data information. So basically there's only two main setup in the master data the lowest level and one will be the information setup that you see here where you can remove the filters the other one is on the master data on documents so if you enter whatever document doesn't matter if it's a purchase order production order sales order the header the footer sorry the line it doesn't matter if you enter master data information here again when you look at the filter you can remove all those filters you can if you move type line, you see also the, uh, sorry, and the line number, you can see the header information as well. So you can see all the key fields here, table 37. And now you're viewing at master data on documents in your full database. So with this way, it's possible to add many different filters to look at data across entities.